want to migrate to Europe? Mm. And oh, the answer to that is, of course, yes. yes. So how can you then deny someone else to do that? And cool. When Europeans go to another country by the millions, it's colonialism. Colonialism, thank goodness, has ended. But we haven't even begun to think of the consequences of the movement of millions of people into our home for what we agree is in perpetuity. I do not believe that it is the right of everybody in the world who wants to be in Europe to be in Europe. And it, it, it... Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we are going to be checking out a video titled The Douglas Murray Video That Nelly Got Him Banned on YouTube. Wow. So let's check it out. Whoa. Douglas Murray has never been one to shy away from telling the truth as it is. In this video, Douglas Murray, when presented with a tough question on what he would do if he was a poor African seeking a better life elsewhere, responds with truth and courage. Douglas Murray speaks what is on everyone's mind today, but what most are afraid to say. Douglas Murray did not hold back. I think there is a there is a profound question here, which I'm not going to be able to answer, but I can give a couple of pointers on. It's the same question as the one which is, in my view, haunting Europe, which is the question of the Jews. The question of the Jews in the Second World War. You see this all around the migration crisis. There was a very haunting example the other day in La Sampa, one of the Italian papers, talking about the route uh, now that the Austrian-Italian border and the French-Italian border are very, very closed. Uh, there is uh, there is an increasing flow of people uh, walking through the mountain passes in Swiss uh, over to Switzerland from North Italy. The Stamper had a, a, a um, it was just an average day's news, but had a um, a quote from a local who mentioned that this was a route which, uh, you know, in the winter it's very dangerous, but in the summer it's passable. And just this local just mentions um, that that's the route the Jews used in the war. Everything is infused in our very old and very um, guilt-ridden con uh, continent. Everything is infused with these echoes, and we worry about it, and we're right to worry about it. We're right to worry about whether or not these migrants are the same as the migrants in the Second World War. But there are all sorts of um, other parts of that discussion we need to have. For instance, how many of the Jews fleeing Nazi Germany, for instance, uh, arrived in a safe country and then said, hmm, I don't find the system here so useful, I'll walk to another. Yeah. Uh, how many of those fleeing persecution before and during the Second World War were picky about it? I mean, it's a, it's a terrible thing to say, but I mean, this, was, this is a different type of movement. But the follow-on from that is this, is this odd thing, which they say, I don't have an idea about, I don't have an answer to, but I can just put an idea in your head about it, which is this odd thing that, as I say, Europe is a place in which anyone in the world can come and live. I think we need to think about this and discuss this very widely and very profoundly um, because otherwise, I say, it's, this is going to lead to all sorts of problems in the years ahead. It seems to me absolutely legitimate that the peoples of Europe should be able to have a place they call home and that that place should not be taken away from them because, after all, we don't have another choice. There's that extraordinarily haunting bit in uh, Michel Welbeck's submission, which many of you will know, when talking with his Jewish girlfriend, the main character uh, uh, discovers she's going to go to Israel because things have got so bad in France and she's Jewish, and he says, I don't have an Israel. Hmm. That is one of the most important thoughts in Europe. Now, we don't have an opt-out. We don't have a get-out. We don't have a, um, a place to run to. We don't have another deal on the side here. This is our home. And so we should think very, very deeply before giving that home up to the entire world. Because among other things, that deal will not be reciprocal. When Europeans go to another country by the millions, it's colonialism. Colonialism, thank goodness, has ended. But we haven't even begun to think of the consequences of the movement of millions of people into our home for what we agree is in perpetuity. Now, I do not believe that it is the right of everybody in the world who wants to be in Europe to be in Europe. And it, it, it cannot be. We have, as I say, a fragile ecosystem of society, like every society, and we cannot give it over to the entire world. 
And if that makes us have some pangs of guilt, then that's good. We should have pangs of guilt over that. We're human beings. We're moral beings. But it should not be the case that our pangs of guilt make us destroy our societies. It's my view as a small C conservative that, that, that Edmund Burke was right in that central point of his philosophy that that a culture, a society is not simply about us here now, that it is a deal between the dead, the living, and those yet to be born, and that you cannot break that pact, and that what you have inherited you do not have the right to give away any more than you have the right to destroy future generations of your own family or future generations yet unborn. It is a very central pact to civilization, that deal, between the dead, the living, and the yet to be born. It is a central pact of civilization. And if you give it up, if you say that the yet to be born, it doesn't matter if their society represents Mogadishu more than it does downtown Stockholm, then you are breaking that pact, which may not be yours to break. Douglas Murray addresses the complex issue of mass immigration with a candid and courageous response, acknowledging the desperate circumstances faced by many individuals, such as poor Africans seeking a better life. However, he argues that open borders and mass immigration are not viable solutions, as it is not the responsibility of Europe to absorb the world's population. Murray warns that continuing on this path risks eroding Europe's identity, culture, and sense of home. Murray's argument is grounded in the principle of national sovereignty and the preservation of cultural identity. He asserts that every nation has the right to control its borders and decide who can enter. This control is essential for maintaining social cohesion and ensuring that the cultural and social fabric of the nation remains intact. Without it, there is a risk of significant demographic changes that could disrupt the existing social order and lead to tensions and conflicts. One of the key points Murray makes is that mass immigration can lead to the dilution of cultural identity. European countries, with their rich histories and diverse cultures, have developed distinct national identities over centuries. These identities are expressed through language, traditions, customs, and social norms. Mass immigration, if not managed properly, can overwhelm these cultural elements, leading to a loss of heritage and a sense of alienation among native populations. For instance, in cities like London and Paris, significant demographic shifts have already led to visible changes in the cultural landscape, sometimes resulting in friction between different community groups. This emphasizes the importance of addressing the root causes of migration rather than simply managing its symptoms. He suggests that efforts should be directed towards improving conditions in the migrants' home countries, thereby reducing the push factors that drive people to leave in the first place. Wow. What's an interesting uh, video which is tied to Douglas Murray video that never got banned on YouTube and we can all tell Douglas is someone that is very articulated always stand by the truth is always ready to say the truth is not afraid to say the truth we understand that immigration uh, can mass immigration can bring uh, a lot of economic value economic benefit to the host country if properly managed and at the same time mass immigration can also bring harm to the host country if not well managed because people coming into a country and failing to integrate and at the end of the day they start demanding for rights and it can really cause a lot of harm to the host country i believe this is the point Douglas is trying to address in this video. So I believe when you are coming into a country, there are better ways of coming into a country. You have to follow the right way. Come in legally and the people will be ready to accept you. You don't have to force your way into the country because I believe if you have a house and people are not using the door and they are flying the fence, flying over the fence to come into your house, I believe you are not going to be happy about that. And I believe that is the same thing Douglas is trying to address in this video. It's okay to come into a country, but you should do that the legal way. You don't have to force yourself into the country. You have to come in, follow the rules, follow the law, 
and the people will be ready to accommodate you. We all know Europe, Britain, they are very lovable. They are ready, they, 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 they accept immigrants more than 1,000, more than 50,000, going to millions every year. But people have to go through the right way instead of coming into the country and try to, instead of forcing your way into the country and failing to integrate as a result of that, you try to do a lot of things to cause harm to the people, which is not right. And that's what Douglas is trying to address in this video because a lot of people come, in, come into the country. As a result of that, they become violent and they cause harm to a lot of people. So there's the need for the uh, there's the need for people to come into the country legally so they'll be able to know those that is coming into the country instead of you trying to force your way into the country and when you even come into the country you end up becoming violent and causing harm to the people which is totally wrong i believe that is what douglas is trying to address in this video i've really learned a lot just listening to douglas so I also like to hear your comments. Let's get the conversation rolling. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.